It is foundation wear test time and we are testing out this today. This is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, so let's get to it. Hi there guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video I have a foundation review for you. And the foundation in question is this. So this is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Um, it just says here that it's colour correcting, full coverage, natural finish. It's got collagen, peptides and niacinamide in it. Um, and it's SPF 30, which I thought was really, really good. Uh, the shade I got it in is Fair 120. So I'm super excited to see how this wears throughout the day. So a little spoiler, this is what it looks like when you first put it on. <laughs> um, I have got footage of me popping it on, which we're going to cut to in just a moment. Um, but just before that, if you have not already, hit that subscribe button. Uh, come and join the YouTube family. I would love to have you. Uh, hit the notification bell as well. It will just let you know whenever I upload any videos. And of course, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. It really, really helps my channel out. Right, so I am looking very, very shiny indeed. I've just done my skincare. Uh, I normally use my skincare as a primer, although recently I have been good and I have been using the primer, which is not like me at all. Um, but for all of my other foundation wear tests, I haven't used a primer. I've used my skincare as a primer. So that's exactly what I've done now to make it fair. Um, so yes, we are going to be popping on this. Uh, super, super excited to get it on. For this video, I'm going to be uploading another video. It's a full face of makeup by e.l.f. Um, and I did my concealer and uh, my foundation, can't get my words out, uh, in that video and the plan was to do the whole day wearing it, uh, doing the foundation wear test. But after that video, about an hour after that video, I had to remove all of my makeup because I got really, really bad hair fever and my eyes were streaming and it totally wrecked the, or what was going to be <laughs> the full day wear test. So. It is now a little while later, uh, a good, I think it's actually a few weeks later, uh, and I've just gotten round to sitting down and refilming this to do the wear test. So I'm going to cut to some footage from the video that I haven't popped on yet. That video will be put on after this one, um, but it is where I put this on. So this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer matte finish. Um, so I popped this on in the video and after that I then put this on but I didn't film putting this on in the video. I wanted to film this in this video. I hope this is making sense. Uh, so we're quickly going to cut to the footage uh, of me popping the concealer on just so you can see how I can do that. It does look like I put a lot on in the video but trust me it is not. It just looks it. Uh, again I'm not a makeup artist and um, let's cut to that footage now. What we're going to start with is this. This is the 16 hour camo concealer. Uh, in the shade Fair Beige. So this is what it looks like. There's six mils in here. So the places that I put concealer are here, here. I also, because I've got melasma, you can see there, I pop that there and then blend it out. Same on the other side. I really like in the coverage of this. I've used this before ages ago, um, but I think I got the wrong colour. Uh, so I like to pop some on my forehead as well because um, that is awful of melasma too. Uh, I just put a tiny, tiny bit on my nose because I've got spots of melasma as well. I'm covered in it. A tiny bit there in there because I've got a few bits of melasma there too. So let's get blending. Right, so that is concealed. Basically everything I've wanted to conceal. I can still see my melasma a little bit, but that's absolutely fine. Right, so that is the concealer on. And like you saw, I look very different to what I did in that video. Um, but now it is time to pop the CC cream on. Um, I'm just going to get my sponge. Um, this is clean, it's just stained. Put on at the moment, I don't want to put too much on because uh, this is actually quite thick. And let's just see how we do. Let's blend it out. The bridge is really nice, as you can see on my forehead there. So this CC cream is very, very thick. It's very creamy, 
but surprisingly it feels quite light on the skin that is all applied um and this is what it looks like so it's got really really nice coverage i can still see like little bits of melasma popping through um but i don't think i've ever had a foundation that totally covers it yeah it feels really really nice and it, i do have a little bit of a glow on my skin um i popped a tiny tiny little bit of oil on my face as part of my skincare routine this morning and i'm actually really glad i did because this is quite a drying foundation uh it's very very matte i'm now going to pop on my translucent powder as you can see it's been well loved this powder is great it's not too drying at all which i love that is the powder on um i am going to disappear now put the rest of my face on i am gonna put exactly the same face on as you're gonna see in my next video so if you want to actually watch me do it make sure you stay tuned for the next video um but yeah i'm gonna disappear in this one pop my face on and i'll be back in a moment right so face is on hair is done clothes are on <laughs> Um, so yeah, I am going to just get on with my day um, and check in every now and then to see how the foundation is holding up. It is 8 o'clock in the morning um, and yeah, we will see what happens. So I'll just give you a close up of what the foundation actually looks like on my skin. I'm really happy with how smooth it looks and the colour match. Um, I normally get the colour wrong, but I've done spot on this time. Yeah, really, really happy with it. Uh, so things to watch out with with me is I always have foundation collecting this bit here. It's my frown line. The next place is here in my smile lines. I always have foundation gather there as well. Sometimes with certain foundations, which I try to avoid, it cracks on my lip here at the top there, which is not good. Um, but yeah, let's just get on with the day and see how we do so if you can hear that in the background it is my dishwasher um but yeah i've had it on two hours and so far so good so let's bring you in closer 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 too close <laughs> um but yeah my smile lines are looking great um my frown line here uh i think it's starting to crease um but yeah so far so good it is 12 o'clock um and here is a close-up obviously my lipstick's kind of nearly all gone now but yeah it's looking really really good it hasn't collected really um i am really really glad i put oil on this morning on my skin um because as you can see I'm, I'm looking quite dry under the eye area but it hasn't broke up or anything. It is half two. I think it is, yeah, half two. Um, so yeah, I've had this on six and a half hours. Guys, I am so, so impressed. So if I bring it in closer, it's breaking up here a bit. Um, but look at my smile lines. I mean, it's broke up a tiny bit in that smile line, um, but normally it's way, way, way worse than that. Uh, my frown line, let me just move that, yeah, my frown line's looking good. My forehead frown lines are looking all right. Right, it's half five, so let's take a closer look. You know the smile lines, I mean, they are breaking up a little bit, but I'm really, really impressed with them. Um, my chin, ignore that, uh, that was my husband's fault, he stubbled me. So yeah, he came in for a smooch and I got stubbled. So ignore ignore that bit, that's not the foundation's fault. Uh, my frown line is looking good. I mean, it's broke up a teeny tiny bit. Right, so it is seven o'clock and I've had enough now. I wanna take my makeup off and I wanna put my gym jams on and chill out. Um, So it will be 11 hours I've had this on for. So let's bring you in closer. Right, so let's start with the forehead. This is what it looks like. So, as you can see, it has broke up a little bit in there. Um, but overall, I'm quite happy with that. I've had foundations which have looked absolutely atrocious there. Uh, the actual forehead itself uh, is looking all right. Um, excuse the eyebrows, I need a plug. Um, 
coming down to this part of my face so my eyes look all right bar the wrinkles uh the nose looks okay and the cheeks look okay so the problem area we have is the mouth area right so a few areas of concern are mainly because of me um so we can see this bit here there's no foundation there because I was kind of eating my tea. I made some steak and chips with peppercorn sauce and veg and stuff. And I actually, I had my fork and I poked the chip and I missed my mouth and I poked myself with the chip. So that's <laughs> embarrassing. That, that's what that is there. So that's why there's foundation missing there. But we look around the nose area. You can see it has cracked around here a little bit. Again, not good, but I've had foundations which have been totally way worse, way, way worse. Um, but overall, I mean, it looks, if you figure out that bit there, it looks okay-ish. Um, and then, yeah, the next problem area, which is again to do with me, is the chin. Let me turn this light down a little bit so you can actually see it a bit better. See that better at all without the light? Uh, as you can see, there's some marks here, but as I say, my husband stubbled me, so... That's his fault, not mine. Um, and I don't know what it is with tea today. I put food in my mouth and it dropped out and it dropped on my chin. So I was actually worried it was going to remove more makeup, but I don't think that it has. Um, but the line here looks okay. Not bad, not bad. Right, guys. So that was my 11 hour wear test of this foundation, CC Green. Um, and overall, I am very, very impressed. Um, most of the marks I have on my face are kind of down to me. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we have to ignore the chin area again, because that's me. Ignore that little bit there. The only main area of concern is here with them few marks that we had there. Um, but overall, looking at the entire face as a whole, not bad at all. I love it. I absolutely love the foundation. But yes, it's thick, it's creamy, but when you apply it, as long as you don't apply too much, you can't feel it on your skin. I don't feel like I've got anything on my skin at the moment, if I'm if I'm totally honest. Um but yeah, I really, really like it. Um so yeah, I can totally recommend it. I will link the foundation and the concealer down below in the information box if you want to take a look and go and treat yourself, why not? If you want to know everything that I have on my face right now, um, it is going to be in the next video. Um, so in the next video, I have the whole face of e.l.f. Um, makeup on. And yeah, <laughs> I will link everything there, what, what I have used. Um, but yeah, I think today has been a good day um but yeah that concludes this video so if you have not already hit that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up button and i will see you in the next one bye